Now, Kohl's had their earnings this week, and profits plunged more than 50% due to weak sales. And we saw similar headlines this week from other retailers, and simply, the consumer is out of money. So going into this holiday season, it's going to be pretty ugly for retail. Now, Peloton stopped hitting all-time low after earnings. Now, companies like this are going to be hit the hardest. If you're selling a $6,000 treadmill, there are not many people in America who are going to be able to afford it. And those who can afford it may have already purchased one. They're not going to purchase another one again, at least not for a good while. So any companies like this that are selling high-priced goods, unless they slap prices by 50 70%, there's no way a company like this will survive, not in this type of economy, because you're just not going to find enough of the population who's willing to fork over six and seven thousand dollars for a treadmill. So in a few years after we come out of this, or if we come out of this, the entire landscape of retail is going to be changed. There are going to be a lot of names that you see now that aren't in existence two years from now. Now, I've done a few videos in the last few months about how this country is sick mentally. And this week, I saw a few stories on murder suicides and just a quick Google search of uh, murder suicides. And you'll come up with a huge amount of stories. And this isn't just one person offing themselves. And these are people who are offing their entire families. And when you get to the bottom of it, most of it is because of financial stress, financial strains. And folks, we're not just seeing a shrinking population due to this new generation not having children. We're witnessing a shrinking population due to suicides, murder suicides, and diseases and illnesses, which are all preventable. So this isn't a good time in America, and in my opinion, it all leads back to a bad economy. Now, folks, if you're watching this channel, you can agree that inflation has gone nowhere. It definitely hasn't gone down. And this is a story I saw earlier this week. JetBlue says it could raise fares by as much as 40% on some routes after buying Spirit Airlines. And that's no surprise because in the past decade, what we've seen after mergers are price hikes. And Spirit and JetBlue Airlines, they were the cheapest in the industry. So a 40% hike on tickets, you may very well do better going Greyhound. Now, I saw a number of large layoffs this week, and T-Mobile was one of them. T-Mobile said they're laying off 5,000 workers, and that's 7% of their workforce. And if T-Mobile is laying off, well, you can probably bet that AT&T and Verizon are going to be next. And what does that tell us? What does that mean for this economy if one of the cheapest mobile phone carriers is cutting 7% of their workforce? I mean, folks, we're headed for a disaster. We're headed for a depression. Now, many people would say that this economy is growing but i have to disagree i think we've been in a recession for a few years and we're headed for a depression now no one in the media would ever come out and say that but i believe this to be true we've got hard times coming folks